just went through the exhibit, An Awakening of Your Consciousness, and it is phenomenal. Very inspiring, very real, very bold. It truly makes a statement of how just horrific society truly is. And just, wow. Like I think that this is one exhibit that everyone must see because it brings truth and reality what is going on in the world today. Every subject has been hit, and I mean from entrance all the way to the exit. I am just at all on how creative this is. I think this is great. And you have so many different emotions, you know, that will come out as you read each phase. So I'm sending all my students. Certainly, the message is a uh, testimony to the reality that we live with every day. Uh, I'm amazed, however, that um, the truth is uh, so profoundly real in this message. I'm grateful for your message. I'm grateful for this. This is the kind of trick or treat we need to be paying attention to. It's a kind of Halloween story, um, especially with Donald Trump at the end of the line. breathtaking to see all the things that our people went through and our people fought through and what our people are still going through. To the needs of our brothers, our funds are being stopped as of September 15th. We see Freddie Gray and we see all these things around us, man, but what are we doing to change that, you know? So that's why I'd say us as black people, it's time for us to get up, get out, and vote. You know, when we go out and we vote, make sure we bring about two or three people with us to go out there and vote as well. And, you know. All right, um, my name is David Jackson. And um, I really um, thought that this uh, social conscious in this um, exhibit was, was pretty deep, uh, pretty moving. Uh, definitely opened my eyes to um, a few things that's going on in the world around us. Um, it's also um, a good reminder of things that's happened in the past. Today with, with the kids, like it's down to even six-year-old kids being terrorized. And like you, it's, it's some of the families, like you can't even attend a family function without having somebody call the police on you. Like, where's, where's your mind? What, what are you thinking? Well, I think most people who look back at history should realize the impact and they should understand the sacrifices that were made and we should look at today very seriously because some of the same things are still going on. They're just disguised in new clothes. Um, looking at this exhibit, I definitely think that history has a way of repeating itself and I think it's getting worse by the day and there are power in numbers and it's going to take a, a good amount of people to stop what's going on and wake up because we are the future and we can definitely um, switch up the tempo of what's happening today. Okay, my name is Kendra Coleman and I just entered this awesome exhibit that expresses what's going on today in America's society. Everyone needs to come out and read what's going on in the world today and get from a bundle of rock because this is what's going on. This is a very powerful piece and everyone should come and see it. Thank you. This country leaders may take your rights, but they can't take your knowledge once you know it. And once you have the knowledge, you can use that knowledge to change things. Um, 
and it's sad. They say that history repeats itself, and, and it might not be in the exact same way, but, you know, yet again, there's nothing new under the sun. We see it happening right before our eyes in this day. And if we're not careful, um, we will let our zombie machines put us in the state of disproportionate disadvantage. I'm truly thankful for the opportunity and for, and I appreciate the exhibition showing um, in 2018 the racism that we still have to deal with. I live in a world where I hope and pray that we can all live and work together, but just recently I was um, one of our students was arrested because she informed the officer that she was from Mexico, had all of her credentials, and was still arrested without any reason for being arrested uh, because of the color of her skin and her, and her nationality and still to this day have not been told why she was arrested and was explained to her during her incarceration where her rights were not read to her stated to her that we'll mail it to you and to know that we're dealing with this racism and to hear the thoughts of our president each and every day, inciting people to say that it's okay for individuals to have these opinions and it's okay for law enforcement to treat us as if we're not humans or we don't belong here. But this is our country too and we continue to stand together and hope and pray that we will all come together and know that this land is not just created for one but for all. So I'm happy that you you have this exhibition that our young people could come and be a part and know the importance of voting. So thank you.